Hey everybody, this is Nova, and welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft. So, today I'm here, this is my house, yeah, um, got a new house, and this is, no, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding, this is just my little AFK hidey hole right here, so that no one bothers me when I'm AFK. Um, so, and this is, I, I, I've changed a few things around. I have two furnaces now. I know, right? I'm, I'm, I'm moving up in the world. And, uh, first things first, as you can tell, I don't have any yeah, items. That's because I died. Yes, that is right. I have got my first death on my Let's Play. And as you can tell, it says it right here, death, whenever that time is, I, I don't even know. Probably gonna be but you're probably gonna see this video sometime after that, so it doesn't really matter. And it actually is right there. And <laughs> you're probably wondering. You're probably thinking, oh, you got you probably just jumped down and died there. I mean, you probably fell off. You're such an idiot, right? Well, no. Um, I'm just getting really annoyed by the dire wolves. Man, those direwolves, they just keep howling all over the place, and it just, it just is getting me so annoyed, so I just wanted to get rid of them, but they are a lot more deadly than I realized, and, and they're also a lot faster. Um, and I, I had a dog, I had a, I had found, I had actually found a wolf near where the direwolves were, and I tamed it, but, and it was right here, but as I was uh, fighting the dire wolves, it also tried to fight them, and it, it died. So I'm going to carefully try and see if I can get down there, and hopefully there's no dire wolves to kill me yet again. Um, I mean, I don't see any on the map, although it is kind of blocked by that the death sign, so... Um, I think we're good. And it was, that's another cool thing about this is, you know, too many graves mod. So all you gotta do is walk, oops, you gotta walk onto this and you hold shift or you press shift and you get all your items back. And they all go right back in to the same places that they were. So now I have all that food that I was looking for. Also, getting up here is quite a chore, so maybe at some point I'll make some sort of tunnel that goes that goes down and out. I think that will be a very great way. And as you can see, this is my horrendous little archway going into this this cave that I have lit up before, that used to hold a lot of creepers and, and skeletons. I got some cows. Uh, in fact, I actually, I actually have an animal net, so that's helped a lot. All oh, right, and I also picked up some uh, loot bags. So I was gonna wait until I started recording so that you guys could see me open my first common and my first epic loot bag. Which I I don't know how I got an epic loot bag. It must have just been really rare. So let's see what's in this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, not really the greatest, but I'll, I'll take that. And in the epic... Oh, I got a chandelier. Cool. Oh, pumpkin and cobalt ingots. Not really the greatest, especially since they're just two. But, uh, yeah. Let's place this up here. Ah, uh, that doesn't really... That sort of just blends in with, uh... Yeah, you can barely see that. It blends in with the stone. Oh, oh well. We'll we'll find a place for it, and uh, you know, once we start to terraform this place a bit better. So, like I said before, I would definitely like to get some armor at some point to take down, to have enough uh, durability so that I can take down those really super annoying dire wolves out there. Also, another one of my goals today is to just try and get. Get this place looking good, and I, I, gosh, I should take that down. It looks really bad, but just to get this place looking a lot better, and I kind of want to open this area um, out. So at some point, you'll be able to like kind of look in through this area, 
um, you'll be able to see that this whole thing will be open essentially. I also kind of started a small little mine here, although I kind of didn't realize that I was this high up, and so I was not able to find any iron. So I had to go way down, and I found some iron at some point here, and I also found some marble. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we could use this in our builds. So I'll, I'll get that up uh, at some point. Another thing that I thought I would do is I found a few things on the map that I would love to go visit and show you guys and uh, you know see what they are and this you know, obviously a Hermitron and an Igloo but we'll uh, we'll see them once I get there I hear you Enderman where are you oh it's not an Enderman it's an Ender Mini I wonder if I can take these guys down without any armor Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Ah! <sighs> All of the modded animals or mobs are killing me. Oh, <laughs> it said I got revenge on it. Yeah, I did, but I didn't get any ender pearls. Darn it. I see a creeper over there. I'm not going to test my luck because I am having the worst luck today. Wouldn't it just be amazing if my luck translated to me falling into that lava somehow? Oh boy. I better stop trying to jinx myself. Alright, so here we have the first, our first location. This is our first Hermitron. So wow. I'm surprised. Let's see what we got. Alright, got that achievement. And it looks like we just got some commons. So for you guys who don't know what a Hermitron is, Hermitrons are essentially retextured shulker boxes that are found in the overworld. And they each have these well things these items inside them called Hermitrons. Hermitrons are kind of like cards. There are, you know, rarities and each of them are part of like different tribes, and there's actually even two types of Hermitron boxes that you can get. And you basically just collect them. So it's pretty cool, but at least you can use the Hermitron boxes as kind of like extra backpacks. So let's try and test our luck here. I only have two bones. He's probably going to eat them all, but let's try it. <laughs> Maybe our luck is changing, you guys. Maybe our luck is changing. Alright, come on, Mr. Well, wolf I, or dog, I, I don't really have a name for you yet. What, what should I name this dog? I didn't name the other dog. He died. <laughs> so let's go towards the other thing that I want to show you guys, and that is, yeah, I, uh, I found an igloo. Not really sure if there is anything in this igloo. There is a bed, a redstone torch, a furnace with nothing in it, and an obviously crafting table. But sometimes. Sometimes there's like a little passageway that goes down. Oh man. Nope. There is not a passageway, so darn it. Well, that was kind of a letdown. I was hoping that that igloo had a special passage down that would lead to a chest and maybe some cool items in it. I don't know. Not really what I was hoping for, and oh, it is still so difficult to get up to this area. I need to create some sort of like underground entrance. Alright doc, you can just sleep at the foot of my bed, how about that? That's always nice. Alright, so I definitely want to take down this abomination. I don't know what I was thinking when I made it, but I just broke my axe. We need to get rid of this because it looks very bad. We should probably lay off the decorating until we start clearing out this area. This is another mod that is in Foolcraft. It's called the Crop Dusting mod. Basically, if you hold Shift, you end up farting. Yep, that's what's happening right now. I'm farting all over the place. And because that happens, crops and other things that grow 
grow a lot faster around you. So it is really nice when you need food fast. So night is almost upon us. So I'm gonna start drilling out this area and uh, see what we can uh, see what we can do. All right. So it's been some time since the last clip, and I thought I would show you guys my progress. I don't, there's that stupid chandelier again. Need to get rid of that. Uh, I got some cows, or more cows at least, I made another fence. But this is where the big progress is taking place, alright? I was just digging away um, into this cave, just getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I figured, you know, this is, the ca cave continues on past this way, so I figured I would make some sort of temporary base. But to do so, I would need to make some space. Because one of the things about playing modded is that if you don't make space your room or your area is gonna be very cluttered so I figured I would just start off with like a little cave base not nothing any not, nothing really big um, and then we could you know easily pick things up uh, and move when we need to and so I kind of was just using these little chiseled cobblestone blocks thought these looked kind of interesting but I was mainly just using them for measuring um, and so essentially, I mean, I, it's not really centered with this area, but we'll, we'll figure that out later. But this little area, and I'm going to put stairs blocks here or, or something to make it so I don't have to jump around. But this path leads all the way down to the strip mine or the mine mine, since I'm probably just going to be using uh, vein miner to, to get rid of all a lot of that stuff. And... Somehow over here, I don't really know how it happened, but I was just kind of randomly digging around and it kind of made this little room thing. So I like that. I want to mirror it over here. And then when I blocked off the cave down here, I sort of made another room accidentally. So I kind of want to make that down here as well. So in summation, it's kind of one long corridor down to the mines and then we have Two rooms here and two rooms going that way. Maybe there could be more rooms uh, in other places. I'm not really sure at the, at the moment, but that's sort of where I want to do. And then over in this area, since it's like kind of on the outside, um, you know, it's kind of you can overlook the area. This would be where most of the farms would take place. So I'll replace this. You know, I did have a, a wheat farm here, but I, I wanted to like move it. But it's probably just gonna move, you know, like right here. <laughs> And obviously I'll move the bed, and, and I'm thinking that maybe this area, since it's not, it's kind of not really symmetrical with the rest of this space over here, this might just be kind of like sleeping quarters for now. Eh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I'm going to start working on that, and I'll check back in with you guys in a sec. Alright, so it's kind of finished. Um, basically I got all of the rooms down. They're not the right blocks at all. Uh, yeah, and it's a lot of cobblestone. <laughs> That's kind of really all I got right now. So, as you can tell, there are these two rooms right here. And I have to put in more, more cobblestone stairs. Two rooms down here. This whole thing kind of is direction is towards this way. And then we go over here. There is one room this way and one room over here. So these are just kind of rooms for stuff. I don't know why this type of design just came to me. I was just digging out the cave and this side was, you know, down further into the cave. And then it opened up a small little area here as well. I don't know. It looked quite interesting. And I think, I think I really actually do like this design. So I think this will be one of my favorites for... <laughs> My favorite temporary base for now. Um, not that there are others, but, you know. And over here are block pallets. Now, it, it's basically just stone, cobblestone, and wood. Uh, and, and dirt as well. I know that, you know, the dirt is kind of strange, but some of the patterns really, really were kind of interesting. Like, there's literally... <laughs> Why does it say nether bricks? I, I, I don't know why it says that, but it, it, it's literally like dirt brick. So I, I love that one. This one almost like looked like farmland. Not really sure if I'll use that. And then this is like plates. So I mean, whoever 
these these types of designs are always pretty cool. So a lot of this stuff, I mean, you know, the the, the wood, you know, we have oak wood, which is the kind of lighter wood, and then we have pine wood, which is a bit more muted. These could be either floors or walls. Most likely they're going to try and be floors. Um, same with most of this stuff, it's going to be floors. This, these are a connected texture one, the Celtic design, or the Celtic design. I think you can pronounce them both ways. Maybe, and same with this, maybe these blocks can be not necessarily a wall, but like placed on as like a kind of insignia. I, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll work with that. And then obviously the spruce wood, the very dark spruce wood, will be sort of the the base supports, you know, like maybe they'll go like right here or, you know, they'll be like the framework. Um, and then there are a few other blocks, like obviously the, the marker blocks, which I already have, you know, I've got to show you guys right there. They're, they're somewhat interesting. Maybe I could place them down. They kind of look like lights. And obviously they don't give off light, but eh, maybe I could place them down and then place a torch on it. I, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll see how that works. And then this is just cobble white stone. I mean, it. I like the white cobblestone, if you guys can see that little little white cobblestone texture right there. But the the white stone as you can tell, it, it's basically just stone, but made in like a lot lighter. So maybe we can work this in somewhere. I don't know. This is kind of all that I have to work with that I really, really enjoyed about looking at the types of blocks that I wanted to use. I kinda just wanted to, because this is a temporary place not really get too detailed in you know different types of blocks because I don't really have that many blocks and the one things that I have a copious amount of is definitely wood stone or cobblestone and dirt so I think making the base out of these blocks would be a cool thing mainly because you know it's easy there aren't that many you know combinations it's not super colorful but it's also not, you know, vanilla. You know, I mean, the whole point of of using the uh, you know, the, the chisel is because, well, it's not vanilla. It allows us to get different blocks. So I thought that that would definitely bring a nice uh, bring a nice little pattern of design for us right now. Besides doing YouTube or playing Minecraft on YouTube. I also have another job, and that's kind of why the episodes for now are just going to be, you know, once a week, so they might be a little bit slow. And I guess because I don't really have a lot of time to record, because I'm either at work or doing other things, but I have enough time to at least record a little bit, so I'm going to use that time to record as much as I can, and to show off to you guys as much as I can. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty simple, that's pretty much how it is. So I'm going to get started on this, and uh, I will see you guys in the next clip. Alright, so this is the design that's sort of coming along here. I really don't think I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, this this white stone doesn't really look the greatest. Maybe I could cap it off like this. You know, so it looks fairly decent. I kind of like that. Uh, I I sort of made two rooms. I made one over here, which uses the small brick chiseled stone. And I liked it until I used the braid design, and I was like, yeah, I like this a lot better because these poison little uh, middle stones definitely they got something going on. I mean, I tried to use this to make like a pillar. Not really sure if it really works, but for now, I I'm liking it. And then obviously the ground is this, yeah, and I think this is a decent size, uh, a decent color. Now, for this, I really have no idea what I was doing here. This is kind of like a foyer into the room, maybe. I don't know if I used the word foyer correctly, but so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change uh, this room into that room. I mean, I took the uh, the Celtic design and I sort of, you know made this little 
little spot here, which, I mean, honestly, you can only see coming back up. But I mean, it, it, it looks it looks pretty cool. I like it. That's probably going to be the main theme. This wall, probably not this ceiling. I'm going to try and find a better block. And as for this dirt plate pattern, um, I kind of like it. It's sort of starting to grow on me. It, it kind of gives it another another brown to this. Especially since, like, literally the only other brown besides these is uh, is this. It does kind of clash with the stairs a bit, though, and the uh, the stone bricks. But I, I think that's I think I'm willing to live with that, to be honest. I think it's I think it's fine. And then I'm gonna add uh, these uh, stone brick stairs because uh, I really like the stone brick stairs. And then I'll get back to you guys and see what the you guys can see what it looks like. All right. So if you wish to know the fruits of my labor, then feast your eyes! Now it's not really finished, but I thought I would work on it a little bit and show you guys how I am going to do things. This is going to be kind of like most of the walls around here, and even around in these areas as well. Uh, except for these areas, these areas are going to stay the same. This is going to be the ceiling. Now I don't really know what would look better than this because at the moment we kind of have a some, somewhat small color palette but I do kind of like this block even though it does look like stone brick but stone brick just didn't really look you know it, it's kind of like off center every other thing and this one is like it looks like teeth kind of I mean those would be some really gray and disgusting teeth but still you know I mean gotta have something. Maybe we'll, we'll put some stairs up here just to sort of round off these edges here. So I like that idea of just making, getting more stone brick stairs and sort of placing them in areas where I see fit. That does have like a nice depth perception thingy when you're walking through you're like oh it gets bigger and uh yeah I don't know. I Kinda of difficult to tell. Let's make some more stairs and see if we can get away with this. And yeah, there's there's a lot of torches everywhere. That's mainly just because, well, this place is mob central for some reason. And uh, so I'm definitely going to try to light this up. But at some point, I do want to have some sort of other way to light it up without having to use torches. Um, but for now, I think the torches fit, and they're cheap and easy to make, so, yeah. Ooh, actually, yeah, coming into here, like, before, we had something similar but to this, but it was, it was just sort of more, more smaller bricks, but now this is kind of like uniform squares, so when I walk in, wow, yeah, I actually kind of like this, so I'm, I'm definitely glad that I picked this block. Ugh! Ow! Go get him, dog! Go! Haha! -ha. Yeah! Kill him! Wait. Pup? Ow! Help me! Help me! Get him! Yeah! Hello? A again? There we go. Get him! Yeah! Kill him! Kill him! Oh, oh god! No! Wow, this is just sad. Catch him! There we go. Well, it looks like I've run out of time. Having a job will do that to you. But don't worry, I'll continue to work on this over the next few episodes. So, it'll get there. I promise. <laughs> Hopefully. So with that being said, this is the end of the episode. If you like what you watch, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. See you later.